and be on the drawing board and blueprints. Right now, Colquitt County is, seeming, is seeing a combined amount of $75 million in economic development alone. Fox 31's Franklin White connects us to a breakdown of that money. Business for Jared Romero is on the up and up. It's very easy to have a business here. He's been in business for two years and has seen upward movement in the Colquitt County economy. I've lived in several different towns, and this is, the, you know, as far as support and, and you know, togetherness in this town, it's just, it's unheard of. And because of that growing economy, right now two multi-million dollar projects are in the works. Our goal of this project was to use as much locally as we possibly can. After 18 months of renovations, Colquitt Regional Medical Center is finally ready to showcase its new $30 million upgrades, money that's going right back to the county. We actually did the loan financing here locally. We spent, oh, close to $18 million of all of our funds within a 60-mile radius. And the money isn't just for health care, it's also going to the kids. At the top of next school year, the school system will unveil its $45 million high school. Right now, school officials say the current school is basically unusable. Our current high school is 30 plus years old. It has some issues uh, with mold and uh, structural uh, issues. And just like the hospital, this project is also being funded locally. The board uh, and the community overwhelmingly uh, voted to support this when it was on the ballot, and the state. Uh, provided the other half. Franklin White, Fox 31 News.